With a criminal probe looming over the controversial Wayne County Jail project, some county leaders are fed up that the results of an audit into the multi-million dollar debacle are being kept secret. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catullo joins us now live from the site of that stalled jail. And Heather, what have you learned about this tonight? Well, as you know, we first told you a few weeks ago that the probe into this jail could possibly result in criminal charges. Now I have learned from my sources that Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy has met with the FBI. In the meantime, her office won't allow county officials to release a very key part of the investigation, an audit that was done, and that's causing some frustration. Uh, it's my understanding they're not giving answers back to the auditor and to not give the audit chairman or the audit committee or the commission that same information or the public I think is wrong. Commissioner Ray Basham is the chair of the Wayne County Audit Committee. Basham says he's fed up that the extensive audit conducted recently on the failed jail project is not being made public. By law, Auditor General Willie Mayo is mandated to turn over his findings to the Wayne County prosecutor if he suspects crimes were committed. Prosecutor Kim Worthy is now investigating the jail ordeal. Wayne County Executive Robert Ficano stopped the $300 million project after it ended up being an estimated $91 million over budget. Last week, Worthy issued this letter, directing the Auditor General not to share his complete report with county officials. She said, under no circumstances should your office release these materials to the public. Basham says the auditor has already met with members of Ficano's administration because auditors usually have to allow them the chance to respond to their findings before finalizing an audit. And Basham says he's concerned now that the potential targets of the investigation have been given too much information. If uh, I thought you had done a bank robbery and I tell you I'm going to come after you, Heather, in about three weeks, so, you know, We'll give you three weeks to maybe four, maybe five before we come after you. It's like you don't do that. You know, they should have went to the attorney general's office. Uh, they should go after their criminal investigation. I don't in any way, shape or form want to stop that. I want to do my job. And my job as chair of audit is to have, you know, a, a public hearing on, on the jail. Now, the prosecutor does not want this information released because, in general, in cases like this, investigators don't want to give the targets of a probe the chance to destroy evidence. So it's pretty standard for Worthy to not want this made public. But I have just learned from her office that they are going to try to release some portions of the audit if they can. They're going to probably release a redacted version if they're able to, as long as it does not compromise their investigation. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Uh, Heather what will and what can that commission do next and when do they plan to do it? Well, Commissioner Basham plans to hold his audit committee meeting as scheduled on Wednesday. He does not believe that the findings of the audit will change at this point. He believes the public has a right to know, so he's going to go ahead with that meeting on Wednesday. We will see what happens, and of course, we as well have asked for a copy of the audit. All right, Heather Gattala reporting live from the site of that debacle jail. Thank you very much.